A petition filed with the state Supreme Court could have an impact on those so-called predator catchers. Those are citizens who take it upon themselves to expose suspected child predators. Sometimes those efforts lead to criminal charges. Now there is an effort to get criminal charges in those cases thrown out. Newswatch 16's investigative journalist Joe Kohut takes a look. The lawyers representing those caught in online child sex stings orchestrated by citizens and not the police want the state Supreme Court to decide if it's legal to use such evidence to prosecute the cases. Should the court agree to hear the case, their ruling could impact more than a dozen people criminally charged in Luzerne County where officials have been using evidence from so-called predator catchers. Luzerne County District Attorney Sam Sanguidolce tells Newswatch 16, quote, our office remains confident in the precedent set in Luzerne County by our trial court in allowing us to pursue charges against child predators. It is our position that a failed attempt to contact a minor for sex is criminal, regardless of the fact that the perpetrator was talking to a parent, guardian, or other adult in lieu of a child. I greatly look forward to the opportunity to argue our case to our Supreme Court. One of those people whose work has led to criminal charges against some suspects is Musa Harris, who calls himself the Luzerne County Predator Catcher. By his count, he's exposed more than 620 people since 2020 by posing as a juvenile online and agreeing to meet with grown men in person for sex. Once Harris arrives at the meeting place, he live streams the interactions on social media. In several cases, Harris has given his social media exchanges with the men to the police and, in some cases, Harris has been called as a confidential witness. I have kids and I want kids to be safe out here and to actually be kids and not have to worry about some grown person grooming them. Yeah. Pittston attorney William Watt represents a man who was charged after a sting by Harris. Watt is one of the attorneys who filed the petition with Pennsylvania's High Court. He says there is confusion in the justice system because appellate courts have issued no guidance regarding contradictory lower court rulings. We don't live in a lawless society. We don't live in a society where your neighbor or your friend can set you up to steal something and then call the cops. Mm -hmm. We don't live in a society where um, vigilantes can start uh, drug operations and sell you drugs and then call the police on you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just not the type of society that we should want to live in. Um, we have trained law enforcement that are educated, that know what they're doing, that know how to uh, obtain evidence the correct way so it's not um, tampered with or it's not subject to attack by criminal defense lawyers. We should all want that. As for Musa Harris, regardless of what happens, he has no plans to call it quits. They're more scared of getting caught by me than getting caught by the police. They'd rather be locked up than me exposing them. The state Supreme Court has not yet made a decision whether to take the case. Joe Kohut, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.